Today, I'll introduce the wiring and setup of SC7664. The key GND A and B marked here in FC764 are connected to the keyboard. Connect to corresponding key GND A B on the keyboard. Bell is the home interface. Red is positive, black is negative. This is the alternating power interface. The ground wire is in the middle. It's with a fuse. This is the zone wire. Resistors should be connected to unused wired zones. Zone 1 is connected to the PIR detector. The circuit of the single should connect a resistor. The PIR detector is connected to two-wire signal wire, arm 1, arm 2, and power supply, 12 voltage and GND. Temper 1 and temper 2 connected to the host temper resistance port. This is the buster module, FC. 7601 power supply to module and the detector from the main board. Module A and B terminals are connected to bus A and B of main board. The two signal wires of the modules are connected to the signal terminal of the detector. A resistor is connected between detector alarm 1 and alarm 2. Now we set it up with battery power supply.
The keyboard shows the phone line is down. The battery is down. Enter the default password to change password and save voice phone number. There is network setting to set alarm center number. You can set system time, detector loss detection, etc. Choose not to detect the phone line and battery. Fault report animated. Exit. Enter the password and turn on the bus zones. Return to the main menu and uh, select Enroll Remote Controller. Select Automatic Registration and uh, trigger the remote controller. Back to the main menu and uh, set bus zones. The extended advanced zone settings are displayed. Set the zone number as 41. Set the attribution as anti set. Then we need to set the module deep switch address as 41. You can shop professional burglar alarm system and fire alarm system at www.vedardalaram.com.